Thank you to the Kaikaranga for the Karanga. I declare this congregation to be in session. Please remain standing and join with us in singing the traditional graduation song, Gaudiamus, the words of which will be found on the screen. Ena waka, ena mono fakihi, ena taifa, tena koto katoa. Kiorana, talofa lava, malo elele, fakalofa lahi atu, taloha ni, fakatalofa atu, ni sabula, ni menhau, namaste, mahaba. That's a very large welcome to everyone and a particular welcome to the great student city of Palmerston North and Massey University's Manawatu Campus Graduation Week. This is the second of our graduation weeks. We had the first in Albany and uh, we will be having, we've had four ceremonies this week and this is our fifth. And during that time we will recognise the achievements of some 1,310 students and 45 of those will be conferred with the highest academic qualification, a doctoral degree. Graduation day is a day of celebration. It's an opportunity for the university, your whanau, family and friends to recognise your hard work and success. And technology now makes it easier to share your big day with a much wider audience. As with our other recent graduations, Today's ceremonies are being streamed live on the internet. What's new this year is that you can watch it on handheld devices. There's a link on the Massey homepage, so our audience will include not, the people, not just the people in the auditorium today, but a worldwide audience. So let's just make sure that the world knows how much we appreciate our graduates, so when they come across the stage today, just let them know how much they are appreciated. Make a lot of noise. We will have a permanent record of this ceremony and for what I'm sure for many of you will be amongst your proudest moments. While talking of recognition, it is important that you don't forget to say a big thank you to all of those who have supported you and contributed to your success during your studies, the family and friends, and the faculty and support staff of Massey University. And just to ensure that you don't forget, I'd like you to join me in thanking them now. <clears throat> the ceremony that we're about to go through today is very traditional, having its roots in graduation ceremonies developed some 800 years ago. Traditions such as these very fine robes that we wear, the capping, 
the MACE, the awarding of honorary degrees to outstanding citizens, all of this links us to the strong heritage of universities. And universities are institutions of higher learning in which the teaching and learning environment is provided by academics who are actively involved in the generation of new knowledge through research and scholarship. You will all graduate today as the beneficiary of a university education. And as a university graduate, you will be critical to the future social, economic and cultural development of your communities. And that is a responsibility that you should not take lightly. As a graduate of Massey University, you will inherit the reputation of this highly regarded institution. And that reputation has been built over the years based on the achievements of our past and current faculty and past students. And evidence of the achievements of our faculty and alumni like Sir Richard Taylor, Kate Sylvester and Sir Graham Henry, just to mention a few, is all around us. Further evidence of the achievements of our faculty is reflected in Massey this year, awarding its highest academic title that it bestows on three, the distinguished professorship to, on three of our internationally acclaimed academics. They're Professor Anne Noble of Wellington, Professor Paul Spoonley of Albany, and Professor Harjinder Singh of Manawatu. We pride ourselves on producing people who put New Zealand on the global map for innovation, creativity, research, and teaching. And we also celebrate all of our can-do graduates who get out there and make a difference. It's this performance track that allows us to rightly claim to be the engine that will drive the new New Zealand. And by the number of accolades, awards, prizes, and other recognitions received this last year by both our current students and faculty indicates that our track record will continue to grow. We have a lot of faith in the future of New Zealand and the role of Massey in securing that future. We continue to make investments in our facilities and to adjust our programs to ensure that we provide both the very best working and learning environment for our students and staff and to keep our qualifications relevant. In this regard, we've just completed a major repositioning of our college structure. On January the 1st, Massey established a new College of Health across all three campuses. The focus of the college is very much in line with Massey's overall strategy of taking what is the best about New Zealand and the rest of the world and tackling the big issues. In this case, the unsustainable expenditure on health and medicines as the global population ages, particularly in the Western world. The college is about research and teaching that promotes the prevention of illness and injury rather than treatments and cures. And we have recently welcomed on all of our campuses internationally acclaimed public health specialist, Professor Paul MacDonald to head up the college and he will be based at our Albany campus. Also starting from the beginning of this year, the former College of Education has become an Institute of Education within the College of Humanities and Social Sciences. Pro Vice-Chancellor Professor James Chapman, who championed the proposal for change and oversaw the consultation and decision-making process, deserves enormous thanks for identifying international best practice in teacher education and positioning Massey at the forefront of what New Zealand must do to deliver for the teaching profession. Two quick examples indicate that the efforts that go into keeping our degree programs relevant. The Digital Fabrication Laboratory, Fab Lab, in affiliation with the Massachusetts Institute of Technology was opened last year. And this year, the College of Business will launch a trading room on the Albany campus to provide students interested in investment trading with a real-world learning experience using the same systems and data as the professionals. You should all graduate today rightly proud of what you have achieved. But you should also be honoured by the reputational mantle that you have inherited. So I challenge you to go forth as Massey alumni, to make your own contribution, 
to grow your own reputation and in doing so add further to that proud heritage that you are now part of. And as part of your journey, we fully anticipate that many of you will come back to us as you face that never-ending quest to keep your skills and knowledge up to date. And you can be assured that Massey will be there to meet that need, whether it's through a course of full-time study or through a part-time in our world-class distance learning program. Finally, I would urge you all to stay connected with your alma mater through your university and your university family through our Active Alumni Association. So congratulations to you all. Continue to work hard, but above all, don't forget to enjoy yourselves. Norera, kato iho na manakitana, kia koto katoa, tena koto, tena koto, tena koto katoa. By the authority of the Council of Massey University, I, Dr. Russell Ballard, Chancellor, will now award the certificates and diplomas and confer the degrees on those to be presented and on those in absentia. Chancellor, the Director of Teaching and Learning and the Director of International will present to you graduates and recipients of certificates and diplomas in the College of Humanities and Social Sciences. Chancellor, I have the honour to present for the Certificate in Arts the candidate I am about to name, Averill Ingrid Wallace. <laughs> Chancellor, I have the honour to present for the Diploma in Arts the candidates I am about to name, Craig Elliott Davis. Nancy Janssen van Voren. <laughs> Chancellor, I have the honor to present for the graduation in the degree of Bachelor of Arts, the graduates I'm about to name. Brogan Luke Fordyce Allen. Chancellor, I have the honor to present for the Diploma in Arts the candidate I am about to name, Yvette Karen Stewart. <laughs> Chancellor, I have the honor to present for graduation in the degree of Bachelor of Arts the graduates I am about to name, Brogan Luke Fordyce Allen. Thomas Warwick Anderson. <laughs> Stephanie Mary Robertson Barnett. <laughs> Brenton Beach. <laughs> Sean Philip Blackler. Paul Stephen Boyce. Claire Elizabeth Bramley. Matthew John Briley, Massey Scholar. Patrick Carl Bueller. Tracy Joy Buick. <laughs> Suzanne Leslie Butler.
Christina Elizabeth Cameron. Hayley Kim Christensen. Marie Roseanne Cleland. Marjorie Gwen Klukas. Daniel Isaac Collins. Laura Jessie Crawford. Deirdre Jean Cruikshank. Robin Annette Kreiderman. Rachel Elizabeth Curley. Michelle Linda Daly. Amy Louise Davies. Chelsea Rowena Wahia Te Aroa Nui de Malmosh. Rebecca Georgia Denby. Kate Rose Ellery. Anna Maria Engelbrecht. Todd Davis Ewing. Eru Maidene Temihaya Kingi Findlay. Matthew Thomas Gallagher. <laughs> Hannah Grace Gibson. <laughs> Kelly Louise Goodman. <laughs> Katie Louise Haig. Joanne Fiona Hall. <laughs> Chelsea Louise Hambling. <laughs> Deborah Marie Han. <laughs> Sherilyn Carol Harkness. Alison Jane Hawkins. Isaac Benjamin Hayes. Maria Ann Henry. Anna Marie Hildred. Logan John Holshire. <laughs> Michelle Hunt. <laughs> Laura Catherine Hyde. <laughs> Rebecca Elizabeth James. Kee Suk Jang Kim. <laughs> Anita Jo. <laughs> Mark Graham Johnston. <laughs> N 
Nadia Binti Muhammad Jeffrey Jones, Massey Scholar. Nicholas William Julian. Louise Emma Jull. Sonia Elizabeth Kerr. Joanna Beth Knox. Andrew David Lamont. Alice Claire Ledbetter. Catherine Louise Lee Massey Scholar. Joshua William Lewis. Jiamin Lee. Yeah. Thomas James Lowen. Lisa Marie McGill. Donald Nika Yaramba Mandeza. Rebecca Jean McGrath, Massey Scholar. Rachel Louise Meehan. Joanna Claire Middleton. Elizabeth Robin Miller. Jessie Catherine Mills. Amy Lee Morgan. Nicola Ann Murphy. Golda Ashley Jane Nahu. Andrew James Neverman. <laughs> Philip Noel Newman. <laughs> Lydia Giovanna Penn. <laughs> Hannah Lee Patterson. <laughs> Eugene Marcel Pitt. Sophia Elizabeth Power. Joy Forno Pratt. Aroha Rauhihi. Elizabeth Ann Rennie. Janine Mary Richardson. <laughs> Sabine Theresia Schneider. <laughs> Jovita Johanna Schröter. <laughs> Kirsten Ashley Scott. Nicole Donna Schuka. Shalom Joe Silva. Peter John Smith. Delia Marie Snell. Micah David Standish. Caroline Marie Stark.
Daniel William Stevens. Timothy James Tankersley. Jane Torreson. Alicia Haley Viles. Lee Wang. Shanad Hannah Jean Watson. Alexandra Lily Ewart Wright. Natsumi Yamauchi Massey Scholar. Brianna Marie Zender. Thank you, Chancellor. It's now my pleasure to ask Dr. Di McCarthy to address the graduands. Dr. McCarthy is Chief Executive of the Royal Society of New Zealand, a national academy promoting, investing in and celebrating excellence in the sciences, technology and the humanities with a head office in Wellington. She's held the position since May 27. Prior to that, she had a long career as an academic and has had extensive experience in governance and management in the tertiary sector. She's been a professor, pro-chancellor and associate dean of the faculties of science and in the medical and health sciences at the University of Auckland. She was also an elected member of the Council of the Universities of Auckland and held degrees, or holds degrees in pure and applied mathematics, experimental psychology and music. She's a recipient of a number of research awards and distinguished teaching award. She was made an officer of the New Zealand Order of Merit in 2008 for her services to education. Her contribution to the broader science community in New Zealand includes a directorship of the Crown Research Institute Ag Research, a term on the Council of the Royal Society of New Zealand, and for the past 16 years has served on the board of the Deafness Research Foundation and chaired its scientific committee. She's a member of the advisory board of the Auckland-based Brain Research Centre and a director of the Cawthron Institute. In 2006, Dr McCarthy was an inaugural member of the steering group for the New Zealand Women in Leadership Programme. She's also a member of the Kia World Class New Zealander Network and an inaugural member of the New Zealand Global Women's Network. In 2010, she was the winner of the Outstanding Business Citizenship Award at the Her Wellington Businesswoman of the Year Awards. I give you Dr. McCarthy. Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor, members of council, staff, and most importantly, graduates and your families. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. It is such a privilege to have been invited to address you all on such a special day. Graduates in the College of Humanities and Social Sciences and in the College of Health, I extend to each and every one of you my very warmest congratulations on your achievements. You've worked long and hard for this day, and I'm sure many of you have made huge sacrifices to reach this defining moment in your lives. And I'm also sure that some of you from time to time have wondered whether you would ever get here this day. Well, you have, and enjoy every moment of it, for you have certainly deserved it. However, as the Chancellor said to you earlier, I hope you will pause during your celebrations and reflect on the many people, families, whānau, friends, lecturers, research supervisors, who have assisted you along the journey and who have come to share your celebrations today. 
they too have made many sacrifices and done much to support you through your studies. And I hope you will take time out to thank them. Today, you have joined an illustrious group, for you have graduated from Massey University, and you can now be immensely proud to count yourself amongst its alumni. And if I can leave you with one key message, that you will remember long after the celebrations are over today, it is that you stay connected with your university and its alumni network, and you keep its proud tradition alive as you move forward into the future. This university has experienced spectacular success in many fields in recent years. As Chief Executive of the Royal Society of New Zealand, I have the huge privilege of promoting the sciences and humanities in New Zealand and recognising and celebrating excellence through the awarding of various scholarships and medals. One of these is the Prime Minister's Prize for Science. And last year, Professors Paul Moen and Harjinder Singh from the Riddha Institute here at Massey University were the recipients of this prestigious prize for their collective contribution to the understanding of food protein science and their outstanding leadership of the world-renowned Riddit Institute dedicated to original research and scholarship in the food, nutrition and health sciences. Another is New Zealand's top science and technology medal, the Rutherford Medal, awarded for exceptional contribution to the advancement of knowledge. In its 20-year history, six staff and former students or former students of Massey University have been recipients of that medal. That is outstanding. Professor David Penny in 2004, the late Professor Sir Paul Callaghan in 2005, Professor Ted Baker in 2006, Professor David Parry in 2008, Professor Kutstein Winterbourne in 2011, and just two weeks ago, the latest winner and former staff member of Massey, Professor Margaret Brimble, gave her Rutherford Medal Lecture here in Palmerston North. Last year, your Vice-Chancellor, the Honourable Steve Mahari, established a new medal, the Mason Jury Medal for Advances in the Frontiers of Social Sciences to honour another of Massey's most distinguished staff, Professor Mason Jury. We took great pleasure in including it amongst our suite of Royal Society medals at our award ceremony late last year. Many distinguished fellows of the Royal Society of New Zealand are current or former staff members of this university. And in 2010, one of your younger staff, Associate Professor Murray Cox, was an inaugural recipient of a prestigious Rutherford Discovery Fellowship for his outstanding work on the computational reconstruction of genomic evolution. Graduands, you are very fortunate indeed to have had a quality education at this university, an education that has provided you with the tools to think broadly and critically, an education that has taught you to understand what numbers mean and don't mean, to sift ideas and information, to understand and appreciate the lessons of history, and to make wise and informed judgments. You will need all of these skills and more as we collectively face the challenges of the future. The 20th and 21st centuries have seen an unprecedented rate of development of scientific knowledge and technological application. The pace of scientific discovery continues to accelerate with great potential to improve the lives and livelihoods of us all and with profound implications for our social, environmental and economic prosperity. The role of sciences in promoting long-term economic growth providing an enabling environment for innovation and research, and in building a scientifically literate society is indeed critical to our future as a nation. 
This has been recognised by the government with the recent announcement of the National Science Challenges, following extensive public consultation. They are designed to tackle some of the biggest science and health-based challenges and opportunities facing New Zealand. The importance of health was underlined with four of the 12 challenges having a health focus. These include harnessing science to sustain health and well-being into the later years of life, research to improve the potential of young New Zealanders to have a healthy and successful life, research to reduce the burden of major New Zealand health problems such as obesity, diabetes, cancer and cardiovascular disease, and research to develop high-value foods with validated health benefits. It is particularly noteworthy that every challenge includes a social science component, and the importance of the social sciences was further recognised by a special challenge, science and society, highlighting the need to incorporate social science much more extensively and closely with physical and biological science in order to use scientific knowledge in much more effectively ways. While not a focus of the national science challenges, the humanities also play an important role. New Zealand's community of humanities and related researchers and scholars is internationally recognised for the quality of its research and scholarship the originality and novelty of its artistic and cultural endeavours and its high calibre institutional practices in curatorship, public outreach and cultural sensitivity. New Zealand's knowledge system is often remarked upon in international circles for these features and from wide awareness of the uniqueness of New Zealand's bicultural partnership with Māori and the richness and vitality of imagination that springs from its Māori, Pacifica and New Settler peoples. Studying social sciences and humanities is increasingly important to understanding national identity. In a complex cultural and political setting with increasing globalised diversity of cultures, beliefs and histories, we need a better understanding of national and cultural identities, biculturalism, multiculturalism, our historical perspective, globalisation, and being increasingly part of a global communality, migration and urbanisation, and the social, cultural, economic, political and demographic significance of the different cultures in Aotearoa, New Zealand. Massey University has research strengths in all of these areas, and I hope many of you graduating today will carry on that proud tradition. Your learning in social sciences and humanities, and indeed in health, will play an important role in the future well-being of all New Zealanders. But all that is for tomorrow. Today is your day for celebration. Your journey is just beginning. Enjoy it, and my serious congratulations once again. Kia kaha, kia manawinu nui, kia ora. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Thank you. Thank you, Dai. You provided a lot of evidence to support our claim to be the engine of the new New Zealand, but probably uh, more importantly, the message to the, uh, to the graduates about how important you are going to be to the future of New Zealand, all those opportunities and major challenges that uh, graduates of universities are necessary to get stuck into. So thank you. Uh, we'll now continue with the conferment of degrees and the awarding of university diplomas and certificates.
Chancellor, I have the honor to present for graduation in the degree of Bachelor of Communication, the graduates I am about to name. Blair James Argyle. <laughs> Graham James Forsman. <laughs> Megan Elizabeth Green. <laughs> Thomas Anthony Hobbs. Nicola Ellen Lissington. <laughs> Amelia Rose Sega Buckle. <laughs> Rebecca Joan McCashan Smith. <laughs> Chancellor, I have the honor to present for graduation in the degree of Bachelor of Defense Studies the graduates I'm about to name. Paul Edwin Watkins. <laughs> Terence Edward Webb. <laughs> Chancellor, I have the honor to present for graduation in the degree of Bachelor of Health Science the graduates I'm about to name. Lei Peng Law. Katie Ellen Salmon. <laughs> Angelique Varina Vivian Massey Scholar. <laughs> Amy Melissa Webley. Erin <laughs> Marie Wicks. Shan Ni Yap. <laughs> Chancellor, I have the honor to present for graduation in the degree of Bachelor of Maori Visual Arts, the graduand I'm about to name. Te Iwi Hoko Te Rangi Hirai Wired Second Class Honors. Chancellor, I have the honor to present for graduation in the degree of Bachelor of Nursing the graduates I'm about to name. Elizabeth Mary Aitkenhead. <laughs> Eva Jane Borden. <laughs> Linda Catherine Beasley. Rose Linnell Blundell. <laughs> Catherine Joybrook. <laughs> Nicole Courtney Butt. <laughs> Nicola Margaret Death. <laughs> Abigail Marie Ertel. Catherine Ann Evans. <laughs> Joanne Louise Forsyth. <laughs> Greta Grissel. <laughs> Alexandra Grace Harris. <laughs> Kendra Jane Harris. Shannon Catherine Vivian Hill. <laughs> Ashley Grace Howen. <laughs> Zoe Maria Johnston. <laughs> Alana Ellen Jones. Emily Marie Jones. <laughs> Nicole Amy Lucas. <laughs> K. 
Catherine Janet McKnight. Lauren Ann Miller. Ada Kirsten Abella Minosa. Holly Rebecca Moore. Sarah Ashley Moyman. Nicole Haley Muller. Briar Francis Peters. Christine Eva Robinson. Mackenzie Rachel Shaw. Lauren Alexandra Smith. Sarah Charlotte Panya Tamatea. Kylie Louise Titians. Chancellor, I have the honor to present for graduation in the degree of Bachelor of Resource and Environmental Planning the graduates I'm about to name. Georgia Louise Blanche Baker, second class honors. <laughs> Megan Elizabeth Barrett, second class honors. <laughs> Luca Lynn de Jong. Megan Deva, second class honors. <laughs> Catherine Aurora Dyberg, second class honors. <laughs> Averill Greer Edgar. <laughs> Karen Marie Edlin, first class honors and Massey Scholar. Sophie Elizabeth Elliott. Emma Lucy Farley, second class honors. Alexander Richard Gifford, first class honors, Massey Scholar. Brendan Duff Hewitt, second class honors. Emma Jane Kyung. Camille Moira Ladyman, second class honors. Stephen David Northey, second class honors. Alice Louise O'Brien, second class honors. Luke Thomas Place, First Class Honours Massey Scholar. Claire Stewart. Louise Evan White, Second Class Honours. Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation in the degree of Bachelor of Social Work the graduands I'm about to name. Vincent Jerry Yonzon Almazan, second class honors. <laughs> Jennifer Marie Anderson, second class honors. <laughs> Kate Bell Busing, second class honors. Lynette Mel Cloth, Cloth, second class honors. <laughs> Jessica Rose Connell, second class honors. <laughs> Caitlin Marie Davies, second class honors. 
Kimberly Rose Dewhurst, First Class Honours Massey Scholar. Ricky Lee Erica, Second Class Honours. Haley Michelle Garondes, Second Class Honours. Elizabeth Grace Hintz, Second Class Honours. Jordan Robert Hunt, Second Class Honours. Erica Louise Lorico. Rosina Mary Montagnani, Second Class Honours. Jessica Louise Manta, First Class Honours Massey Scholar. <laughs> Beni Kanenga Ndeke. <laughs> Tama Carl Shane Paki. Susanna Janine Patterson, Second Class Honours. <laughs> Jessie Ann Roderick. <laughs> Marina Ellen Roger, Second Class Honours. <laughs> Melanite Tafea. Te Aumihia Tayapa Hill, Second Class Honours. <laughs> Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation in the conjoint degree of Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Business Studies the graduand I'm about to name, Marie Midori Papala Papali'i. Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation in the conjoint degree of Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of, of Science, the graduand I'm about to name, Philippa Jane Barnes. Thank you, Chancellor. It's now my pleasure to invite Harry Lilly to present a musical item. Harry's a second year art student at Massey, majoring in Maori studies and geography. Harry's also heavily involved in the local music scene, promoting and performing in shows, volunteering at radio control, as well as busking over the summer break. He'll be playing a piece that he's written himself called Pledge No Allegiance. Harry Lilly. Walks land for a thousand years before our people can and without no fear. They stole this land with bullets and beer and 
and it burn it down And it all grows true Just to sow the pasture And make money One man Oh, at the time While well, all his people yeah, he forgot He left it to waste To waste away But they traveled on And they found a way And as they grew They grew strong And were laying out To all their soul But they fought back to this day, the final song, and we still say, I'll be sad. We gotta listen to a word, a word you say. You're gonna play your games, gonna play your games. Now I'll be sad, I'll be the allegiance to your flag while well, it flies above us and we still stand in the shadows of the wealthy man blind his pockets by strong his knees now I don't gotta buy your wicked way Touch the earth and without my doubt, I'll be the same. I'll be the same. The word, the word you say I won't play your games Gonna play your games I'll be the same I'll be the same Thank you for giving us part of your own original piece there. Uh, we will now continue with the conferment of degrees and the awarding of university certificates and diplomas.
Chancellor, I have the honor to present for the Graduate Diploma in Arts the candidates I'm about to name. Belinda Jane Hanlon. <laughs> Philippa Helen Patterson. <laughs> Rachel Ann Sweetapple. <laughs> Chi Hung Christine Wong. Chancellor, I have the honor to present for the postgraduate certificate in nursing the candidates I'm about to name. Daman Jyot Kaur. Sandra Ann Turnwall. Chancellor, I have the honor to present for the postgraduate diploma in arts the candidates I'm about to name. Philip William Brazier with merit. Asha Jangama Reddy. Hossein Kavianpur. Chancellor, I have the honor to present for the postgraduate diploma in development studies the candidates I'm about to name. Frederick Odiambo Ajuang with distinction. <laughs> Zayar Chit with merit. <laughs> Michelle Lisa Green. Chancellor, I have the honor to present for the postgraduate diploma in Maori Visual Arts the candidate I'm about to name, Lisa Jane Perda. <laughs> Chancellor, I have the honor to present for the postgraduate diploma in Museum Studies the candidates I'm about to name, Belinda Jane Cheney. Kristen Ann McAlpine, with merit. <laughs> Millie Mitchell Anion, with merit. <laughs> Chancellor, I have the honor to present for the postgraduate diploma in nursing the candidates I'm about to name. Amanda Jane Cassily, with distinction. Charlene Mary Dempsey. Arti Dukras Rumon. Rachel Helen Wilson with distinction. Chancellor, I have the honor to present for the postgraduate diploma in planning the candidates I'm about to name. Cheryl Evelyn Bryant with merit. Aaron Charles Hudson. Elaine Carrion Kesea. Chancellor. I have the honor to present for the postgraduate diploma in psychological practice the candidates I'm about to name. Amy Valerie Aldridge. <laughs> Srina Natasha Dinesh Hira. <laughs> Chancellor. I have the honor to present for the postgraduate diploma in social service supervision, the candidate I'm about to name, 
Erica Jane Henderson. <laughs> Chancellor, I have the honor to present for the graduation in the degree of Bachelor of Arts with honors, the graduates I'm about to name. Kerry Michelle Conlon, first class honors. David Alexander Holden McIntosh, second class honors. John Brian Milne, second class honors. Catherine Jan Rivera Puddle, first class honors. Chancellor, I have the honor to present for graduation in the degree of Master of Arts, the graduates I'm about to name. Kem Follett de Rangi Pai Kura Raveti. <laughs> Nigel Bruce Robson with distinction. <laughs> Joanne Eileen Stevenson. Robert Lawrence Thorne. <laughs> Chancellor, I have the honor to present for graduation in the degree of Master of Applied Social Work, the graduates I'm about to name. Colette Michelle Bain, second class honors. Genevieve Carenza Burnell, second class honors. Lisa Ann Cornell, first class honors. Gaylene Robina Little, second class honors. Nicole Marie Lucchese, First Class Honours. <laughs> Elizabeth Mary Mahoney, First Class Honours. <laughs> Tessa Serene Nottingham, Second Class Honours. Crystal Julie Petherum, Second Class Honours. <laughs> Melanie Ann Roy, Second Class Honours. <laughs> Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation in the degree of Master of Creating, Creative Writing, the graduate and about to name. Bridget Mary Okmuti Masters, with distinction. Chancellor, I have the honor to present for graduation in the degree of Master of Defense Studies, the graduate I'm about to name, Miriam Leslie Wharton, second class honors. <laughs> Chancellor, I have the honor to present for graduation in the degree of Ma Master of Maori Visual Arts, the graduates I'm about to name. Maker Ann Cheria de Maxton, second class honors. <laughs> Michelle Jacqueline Nichols, second class honors. <laughs> Bridget Piata Rewetti, first class honors, Maastricht Scholar. Bay Michael Riddle, with distinction. <laughs> Kylie Ann Tiuka, second class honors. <laughs> Chancellor, I have the honor to present for graduation in the degree of Master of Nursing, 
the graduates I'm about to name. Fatimat Arifa Abdul Hakim. <laughs> Maureen Frances Ashton. <laughs> Deanne Janice Batten. <laughs> Muriel Elizabeth Bray, second class honors. Vanessa Janet Davy, second class honors. <laughs> Sue Diane Dykes. <laughs> Alicia Carmela Garcia Tikla Curry, second class honors. Catherine Lucy Keel. Donna Margaret Mason. Ojan Memory Nuku. Catherine Margaret Parata. Kuraj Rumon. Deidre Jane Sati. Victoria Spears, second class honors. Celeste Bridget Taylor, second class honors. Jill Marjorie Trower. <laughs> Rosemary Elizabeth Clint Whitaker with merit. <laughs> Chancellor, I have the honor to present for graduation in the degree of Master of Resource and Environmental Planning, the graduates I'm about to name. Catherine Mary Louise Beebe. Kirsty Marie Clement, second class honors. <laughs> Chancellor, I have the honor to present for graduation in the degree of Master of Philosophy, the graduates I'm about to name. Megan Jane Allardyce, with distinction, Ma Maastricht Scholar. <laughs> Timoana Campbell Knowles. Sandra Joy Murphy. Shazra Salam. Hemo Pereki Hoani Elvin Simon. Emma Sophia Weber Dreden. Chancellor, the degrees are also conferred and the certificates and diploma are also conferred, are also awarded to those who are in absentia. Thank you, Chancellor. Chancellor, we now reach the uh, point in our ceremony where we recognize the achievements of our doctoral students. Uh, we've had 45 uh, doctoral students coming across the stage during this week and we're about to meet the final four of them in this last of our formal ceremonies uh, during the week. To the candidates, can I say that you are here obviously because of your combination of talent and passion for the subject. That's what gets you through this area of work. But it's been our privilege to have the opportunity to provide you with a way of following those studies. We're going to follow your progress with interest in the years ahead and we would ask you to certainly to stay in touch with your university. 
And to the audience, can I say, if you heard me, you would know that this is the last four students in our formal series for this week, so you can make as much noise as you like. Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation in the degree of Doctor of Clinical Psychology the graduand I'm about to name, Elizabeth Mary Yan. Unfair situations can trigger intense emotional reactions in children. Ms. Yan investigated how children aged between 8 and 12 manage these emotional reactions in a classroom environment. Her findings provide guidance for how we can educate children to regulate their emotions in unfair situations. Dr. Yan. Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation and degree of Doctor of Philosophy the graduands I am about to name. Laura Marie Garrod Nee Jacobs. Over the past two decades, military forces and aid workers have found themselves coexisting on unconventional battlefields. Ms. Garrod's research focused on the relationship between the military and non-governmental organisations and its implica implications for international interventions. She found that people improvise their approaches and that changes their relationships, which often yield, she says, uneven and often inefficient results. Dr. Garrod. Virginia Tamanui. <laughs> Ms. Tamanui's study was an autoethnographic inquiry into traditional and contemporary understandings of Fanangatanga, which aimed to relate a developing Maori indigenous psychology to the ongoing struggle for social justice. The study connects academic theory with whānau-based stories and whakapapa. The thesis troubles the simplistic view that we can easily grasp the connections between culture and self and explores these connections critically. Dr. Tamanui. Engelbert Cornelius Tiekman. <laughs> o 
Over the last three decades, New Zealand's health service delivery has undergone significant change. Mr Teekman investigated the impact that these changes had on nursing practices in a hospital setting. He found that these changes have contributed to a reduction in nurses' professional autonomy and a reduction in the levels of patient care. Dr Teekman. At the conclusion of the ceremony, guests are requested to remain in their seats until the processions have assembled in the foyer. I declare this congregation to be adjourned. Please join with us in singing the national anthem led by Andrew Jameson and the words of which are printed on the screen. Please stand. Thanks. Hey.